Lamont Marcel Jacobs. How about that one? Lamont Marcel Jacobs winning. I think it matters. Now Gordon wants to look at the finished photo and zoom in and decide that the pixels on his computer are more advanced than the timing technology. He can really see the difference between three one thousand. I said it before the race, actually before the meet, mid-season, I said Coleman versus Jacobs is going to matter. So whatever the result was, I think was significant. Jacobs ends up getting the victory. I think, again, you can't call it a fluke. He wins the 100. The race is missing Coleman. Okay, that's fine. Coleman is even better in the 60 than the 100. If you just look historically at, at his marks there, world record uh, holder, owner of the best times in history, and he beats him there too. So I think Jacobs, when I'm thinking about putting my rankings together, I think right now you'd have to have Lamont Marcel Jacobs, number one. Um, I want to talk about Coleman in a second too, but Gordon, what I mean, do you think Lamont Marcel Jacobs should be number one in the hundred meter rankings right now? Because that's where I hundred percent, yes, hundred percent, yes. No, if and this is coming from the person who just said a whole bit that I think Coleman won the race, but I one hundred percent think <laughs> Marcel Jacobs is the favorite of. 2022 outdoors, 100 percent I think Jacobs won the race. I think Coleman, I mean, it's like 5149 right now because those guys were separated by three one thousandths of a second. So he's not a huge favorite to win at this point. But he was closing on Coleman. Coleman's a great starter. So you figure the hundred would play more to Jacobs' advantage. This is really simple. Like, we don't need to overcomplicate these things. Do results matter or don't they? If they matter, then you have to have Jacobs number one. If they don't, and you're just going off of some subjective viewpoint of how things will happen in the future, then, then you could put Coleman number one. But right now, the argument is clearly in favor of Jacobs. Now, to get to Coleman, here's the interesting thing about Christian Coleman, especially as it pertains to the 60. He is no stranger to running against people who can do 6-4. When he ran his world record, 634 in Albuquerque, Ronnie Baker ran 6-4-0. At the World Indoor Championships that year in Birmingham, he goes 637. Bing Tian Su of China goes 642. So he beat a guy who ran 640. And he beat a guy who ran 642 by posting these sub 64 times. Jacobs goes 641. Coleman, though, still in the 64s. So, what I'm wondering as it pertains to Coleman is this just rust coming back from not racing because of the suspension? I don't know. I mean, indoor season, everybody has a short indoor season, everybody's coming off a break. I don't know how much that impacted him. Is it that? Is it he just had an off race or is it just difficult to maintain sub six fours and now he's going to be a six four low guy instead of a six three guy? I don't know the answer to that question. You could make strong arguments for all three of those. Um, I tend to lean towards it's a short race. Maybe he made a tiny mistake, an error here or there, and we're dealing with such small margins that he could have easily been a six. 6'3 guy, but Jacob surprised me that he got his PB down that low, but I guess I should not have been that surprised because we have non-Coleman guys in the very recent future who have run that quick. Coleman's just been able to outdo them, and he couldn't in, in Serbia. Yeah, I mean, you're doing this whole segment of what matter, does it matter, does it not matter? And my answer is always going to be it doesn't matter mainly because it's world indoors. The only result that mattered to me was this one. It was the only race that mattered. All the other races yeah. have reasons to put asterisks, whether it's the field depth, where it's the fact that it's indoors and not outdoors, all these yeah. unique circumstances. But that 60 was a legitimate mattering race. And I thought, well, I feel like they virtually tied. A win is a win, and it matters now. Marcel Jacobs yeah. has been able to turn – his, you know, naysayers calling a fluke Olympic title into 
a standard. And now, you know, it's 100% legit. And I think that, hey, he's a favorite.